Hey guys, so today is going to be a one take video, one take shot. Um, if I mess up, I'm not, I can't cut anything out because last night I was editing a video, a tutorial on iMovie and it just quit unexpectedly and it was like, you know, there's a, it was, it crashed basically and I kept trying to restart it and reset it and try to send in, you know, to Apple, whatever, and it just would not be fixed. So I'm going to have to take my laptop in and get it fixed, but Today's video is going to be a one take session and I hope this works out because I don't have time for this. But um, like I have to go to class in like two minutes, or not two minutes, but um, today I'm starting a tag and it's going to be the holiday wish list tag and I'm going to tag a few people in the down bar at the end, but basically um, a few of my friends have asked me what I wanted for Christmas and just I just thought it would be cool. Like you guys know I did the birthday wish list wish list tag not tag but i did the birthday wish list video and i got a pretty good response from that and i thought it'd be fun to do this video as well as just get send it to those friends that asked me what i wanted and it's just a good way to do it without telling them directly what i want so i'm gonna get started the tag has four categories the first category is makeup gift sets and for each category basically you pick five things to list for that category. So makeup gift sets. The first one I want is the Lorac Eye Candy and I don't know if you guys have seen this at Sephora but it's really cute. It comes in this really fancy kind of elegant looking bo like chocolate box and when you open it there's little chocolate bars and each chocolate bar is a little um, makeup palette, a quad of eyeshadows and eyeliners or lip um, products and then I just thought it's so cute just even for a display even if, but I know Lorac um, products are good quality so I really want to get my hands on that and I don't know I'm probably gonna ask for that for Christmas if family wants to but um, just because it's on more of the expensive end and I don't know I don't think my friends have money like that but number two is um, the Tarte Carried Away set and it's basically the one that looks like a travel case the travel um the fold up and inside i just really like it because the eyeshadows come in the sheet and it's just really nifty for traveling and i i tend to travel a lot now because i live further away and when i go home for the holidays or whatever i like to take something with me and i think that'd just be really nifty number three i have the occ lip tar set from sephora and i know some stores don't have that but i've seen it online so that's a good place to get it and i think it comes with i think five or six lip tars and I've just wanted to try them for a really long time so I think that'd be a good sampler I guess and a good gift and then number four is um, just a make a good makeup brush set because I just like makeup brushes and be it Sigma, Sedona Lace, um, Sonia Kesha, I think the elf brush is really good, the beach cosmetic brushes are really good and the the um, real technique brushes are really good. I really like those. And then the equal tools are really good. So those are a few suggestions also if you're getting for anyone else. Um, and then my last one is actually not a gift set, but I've been wanting to try this for a while. And I just wanted to try the Inglot um, eyeshadows or products, I guess. So blush eyeshadows, either one. Um, and I think it'd be a really cool gift if someone were to get, I, I keep flinging this around, if someone were to get that and um, they have a freedom system. So I guess I don't know, I was actually going to get myself a palette the other day, but I stopped for myself because I just need to not be spending money right now. But that would be a good gift set. Number, um, okay, the second part of this, the second question, I guess, of this tag is stocking stuffers that I want. And I think this tag is good because it only limits you to five per question. And I guess some people are going to cheat and just, I'm going to actually cheat in another um, area. But so for stocking stuffers, the first one is, um, like a single OCC lip tar and I would want one in a darker shade like a berry or a red or um, a plummy mauvey color just because I just feel like if I'm going to be using an OCC lip tar I want to be doing a bold look and it would just be a better trial for the product. Number two is a Locatane. I'm not sure how you spell that, that brand but the hand cream. I've tried it before and I really like it and um I think it just feels really nice and delicate and elegant on your hands and it's just a good hand cream and I need that. Um, number three, I kind of cheated here, I have two perfumes and since these are stocking stuffers, I think the travel roll-on ones are really good or the travel spray ones are really good for these. 
And for my picks, I have two. Um, I like the Juicy LaFleur and the Kate Spade Twirl. And I just really like those scents. And then number four, I'm sorry, I'm trying to rush through this because I don't want to run out of time. And I don't want this video to be too long just because it's I'm not cutting anything out of it. So number four is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And I just think it's so cool how it smells like cocoa. And I love the smell of chocolate. And um, I just want to try new bronzers. And especially that one's a matte bronzer. So that's kind of hard to find as well. So number five, the last one for my stocking stuffers, is a good plum or berry colored or red lip liner. I have trouble finding a good lip liner. One that... Um, applies smoothly creamy not drying tugging on my lips and it stays in place and it just sets a good base like it's not drying um so moving on category number three or question number three i guess is non-beauty or random gifts that i want and then for this one i really cheated because just because um my friends asked me for this list kind of and the first five i'm gonna list are just like more extravagant like things I wouldn't buy for myself more expensive things and then after that I'm going to list some things that are more practical and think people could probably um, buy me instead and not be broke after it but um, the first thing okay so the first five are more extravagant so just bear with me the first one is the Nike free um, running shoes and I just I just need new running shoes and I really like those I tried them on and I want the neon ones the neon coral ones and then number two is a Michael Kors watch in rose gold or chocolate. I want either or. Um, number three is um, a Longchamp bag in the medium size. And I either want it in the berry plum color or the burgundy color or the um, mossy green color because I just like those colors. And I don't want anything that's everyone else is going to have, like the navy blue or whatever. And then, oh, speaking of bags, I'm going to cheat and put another one in here. It's um, that Chanel bag that looks like um, kind of like a basket. Never mind, I'm not going to talk about it because I'm not going to be able to. Maybe I'll link it down below. Um, and then number four is new glasses because I went to get an eye exam a few months ago, but I just haven't gotten new glasses because... I don't know, I just haven't gotten the chance, but um, glasses are expensive, like the frames and the lenses and stuff, but maybe someone could just you know, pay for my new glasses. I mean, I'm not happy for this, but that's one of the things. And then the last one, you guys are going to think I'm kind of weird or crazy or whatever, but I want a blender. I've always wanted a blender. I don't know why, but I like making smoothies and just stuff like that. So I would like a blender. Okay, so now for the more practical things that I'm going to just kind of name off. Um, candles, fuzzy socks, knee-high socks, body pillow, fleece blankets, because I get cold. I like to have those with me everywhere. Like, I used to have one in my car, but then I took it in to use in my room because it was really cold in my room. Um, whitening strip, like teeth whitening strips, like anything that works, I guess. Like it doesn't have to be whitening strips. It could be the trays or whatever. I don't know. Um, combat boots. Oh, I want pa my friend Pariso let me borrow this case of hers. And it it's the in sepia where it opens up right here and it lets me keep my student ID card because when I go to the gym here the, the rec center I, I don't like bringing my whole wallet I don't like having to remember it and everything on campus I need that card and I just like having this as the case and I really like this thank you Parisa but I'm also putting that on my list because obviously that's her case and I can't just keep it forever I, I can't do that I'm not going to do that but um that would be nice and then let's see CDs like I like Michael Buble like if you get me the Michael Buble Christmas CD I would love that and or the Adele album um I like Maroon 5 I like oh I like Glee if you get me a Glee CD that'd be good um just I don't know I like a lot of stuff but like if you know me you probably know what I like I don't know and then like you can never go wrong with gift cards just because it's like I'm gonna spend it like Starbucks gift cards are good um, even Target or whatever I like Target um, Ulta Sephora stuff like that forever 21 like a Visa gift card to the mall maybe or Urban Outfitters stuff like that you know what I like like H&M okay and then the last category for this tag is stocking stuffer <coughs> oh excuse me I'm, I think I'm getting sick I don't know what's going on but the last category, category number four, is stocking stuffer suggestions. And 
for that, I I might have six. I don't know. But okay, let me just get started. The first thing is I'm assuming this is all for a girl, except for the last one that I'm gonna mention. But <coughs> excuse me. I am just losing it today. But the first thing are Real Technique brushes. I think these are really, really good quality for the price. You can get them at Ulta. They range from about, like the eye brushes are cheaper, but like this powder brush is my favorite and it's like $10 and I just, of course I was gonna run that against my face. But um, I just think that's a really good gift just because it's hard to find quality brushes and you know, you can never have too many brushes. I mean, I guess you can, but I can't. But, um, the next thing are liquid liners. Okay, this is for, like, if you have a, li like, a liquid eyeliner, uh, girlfriend. Like, you know how some girls just wear liners, or they're really big on liners, like, that's all they, uh, emphasize when they do their makeup? I would get a liquid liner. The two I really, really recommend are the Ico London Skinny Liquid Eyeliner, or the Lorac Front of the Line liquid liner I don't know I have this in green and I it's like a mossy green I use these all the time these are my favorite and the formulation of these and the brush tips are really really good so that's why I recommend those and then let me see how much time I have left okay um the next thing thing um are a lip product and the three that I would recommend are the Revlon uh just bitten kissable balm stains and my favorite is smitten and you guys know that if you watch my videos the next thing i recommend is a tinted lip balm which is the baby lips this is the one in cherry and i just really like this like i've used a lot of it actually like it's pretty far down there but this is just good if you don't want to look ghostly and pale and washed out so that's good and then the last one is just very very moisturizing and it's i got this at bath and body works and it's called the lemon lip balm I don't know. I don't know what else you call it. But this is super moisturizing. I talked about it in my other video before, but I really like that. The next thing, so that was number three. Okay, number three. Um, the next thing is candles, like little candles like this. These are, I got these, I got a bunch of these at Bath and Body Works, and they were two for five, and I think that's a really good deal. This one's in Cider Lane, and this is for, like, you know, the, the candle girl. Like, you know how when you have your friends you know who likes what and you know there's the eyeliner girl there's the lip product girl that always has chapstick or something on or the makeup girl you can get the brush for and then there's candle girls kind of just likes to lounge around read a book or whatever which brings me to my last suggestion a good book and i really recommend the um mitch album books because First of all, they're small, good stocking stuffer size. Do you guys like my um, mustache ring, by the way? Okay, anyway, back to the topic. These are just very, I love all his books. I've read a lot of them, and this one I'm reading right now, I really like. It's called The Timekeeper, and the thing I like about his books are that they're short, but they're very deep and meaningful. I like, I like philosophical, <laughs> philosophical books like that, where it kind of, what, like when you finish the book, every time I finish one of his books, it makes me think like, holy crap, I just got mind blown, you know, and they're just very good inspirational, but not like cheesy books. So I really, really recommend Mitch Album books, like The Five People You Meet in Heaven is really good, For One More Day is really good, um, The Timekeeper so far is really good, I'm about half, oh, I'm almost done with it actually, um, I didn't realize, and just like reiterating what I said, it's a very good but brief read like it's not a hard read at all like you really fly through it but it's just really deep and heavy and good like it's a light read but it's very it gets your mind thinking and I think that's always a good gift and this is not just a good gift for girls like I think it's a good gift for guys too because, like if a, and you have your reading friends um if you know a guy that likes to read or you know likes that kind of thing but mostly I guess girls like that more I don't know but anyway that is the end of this tag and I will tag a few people down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you do it and I will talk to you guys very soon I'm working on a few more videos and hopefully I can get my iMovie um up soon just so that it can be up and running and I can edit videos but I'm gonna upload this one straight and I hope oh my hair is a mess okay I hope that you guys like this, and I hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!